wildwood, an uncultivated wood forest that's been allowed to grow naturally. Wildwood is basically a place where kids all different ages can come and learn what they want to learn. The wind! Yes, the wind just got it going. It's a place where kids can truly be themselves and be fully trusted as people. Hello! I have freedom to make my own choices and to be trusted to make choices. Instead of having to like do certain things, it lets them choose what they want to do. You can decide what you're going to do yourself. Like, there's nothing you have to do. We're yeah. really free to do anything we want, as long as it's safe. Wildwood is just this place where you can literally do whatever it is that your heart desires. So kids are naturally curious about their world. And when they're given just freedom and time to explore all those things and be in relationship with other people, then learning just happens. You, you just, learning is happening all the time, even when you don't realize it. They learn it much better if they actually choose and do it for themselves. They're in charge of, of their own learning. And in addition to that, we really value and cultivate um, a culture of intentionality. In the beginning of the day when we come into this space, we have a big fun meeting. The word of the day is, Lollygag, I know that means sweet. Uh -huh. can offer anything we want to. Like you can write it on a sticky note and then stick it up on the board. One thing that really lights the kids up is being able to make their own offerings. And they really start to internalize the sense of, I have a lot to offer the world that's valuable and meaningful. We go through what's on the schedule for the day. And we write down our intentions. It could be specific activities we want to do, or ways we want to feel, or practices we want to incorporate in our day. And then we break up into three groups, which are called dens, and we discuss our intentions and we play a game. And then the whole day happens. You can't like really like say what happens in the day, because it's totally different each day. And at the end of the day, we come back together and reflect on our day and what we engaged in, what we learned from it, and um, what we'd like to do differently next time. I practice the play and I feel happy, joyful, energized, and content. It's also an environment that nurtures positive relationships, perspective taking, empathy. The children are learning to communicate with one another and they're learning how to work with one another in collaboration. There's this thing called Change at Meeting where Everybody joins in a group meeting. The whole community, everyone decides what we want our roles to be about and what we want our, how we want our community to be like. So if there's a problem or a child notices that there's, there's an issue or a concern around something, they bring that to the community. Everybody, I think everybody here should be friends with everybody. So whoever wants to do it should be able to do it. Yes. What if you don't have enough people for everyone to be in it. Then we all brainstorm those together and everybody has a voice in, in deciding what a solution might be or what a new practice might be for the community. And if you can, try to not exclude anybody. Like exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's exclusive, but then also there's like... We try it out for a week and if it works well, then we do it more. And if it doesn't work well, then we try again. Wildwood is a place where everyone's voice matters. We're all equals at Wildwood and that's something that I really like. Like it doesn't make me want to break rules or anything because I'm the one that has to like gets to decide them. And I think it contributes to this feeling in them and I see it that they have the power to change their world. I guess it's helped me look at the big perspective instead of just my own perspective. I like I didn't really have like a voice. I, I was always like the quiet one. And now I'm definitely not the quiet one. I've seen him feel more comfortable, you know, with his community and I've seen him be more comfortable with himself. I'm thankful for friends. And here, since he's able to talk about it with another person, that has changed the way it is at home as well. He talks to us more about his feelings at home. He feels more comfortable. The most obvious thing for me is just the fire that's in her. I mean, she's just stimulated in a very good way. She's excited about every day that she comes here. 